Hi guys, today we're going to be putting this simple kind to skin soothing facial toner to the test for one entire week and see what happens to my skin. Now, not gonna lie, I am quite excited to try this out just because Simple is one of my favorite skincare drugstore brands out there. And on top of that, the reviews for this toner seem to be really amazing. So I kind of have really high expectations for this toner. Now, this is targeted for sensitive skin and it's supposed to hydrate, soothe, and rebalance our skin as well as being 100% alcohol free. Now, if you didn't know, alcohol is really bad for our skin because because not only does it dry out and irritate our skin, but on top of that, in the long run, it is gonna cause us to get wrinkles and age us a lot quicker. And who wants to look older than they actually are? No one. On top of that, this is also supposed to be fragrance free. And if you didn't know, fragrance is actually really bad for our skin because it only irritates and sensitizes our skin without actually giving us any benefits. And so this actually seems to be a very good all round toner. So I cannot wait to test this out and I will take you guys with me. So let's get started, shall we? Now, first off, this is what my skin looks like. I just want to mention I have a dry patch right here under the eye here and also close to the nose because it's winter and I'm blowing my nose a lot. Anyway, so I'm curious to see what this smells like because it is supposed to be fragrance free so it shouldn't have any scent but it doesn't have any scent. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on this cotton pad right here. Let's see how it feels on my skin, what it's giving to the girls. Okay, so um, it feels refreshing. It doesn't sting, of course, thank God, because it's supposed to be for sensitive skin. But to be honest, I don't know what to expect from this toner just because it is not like an AHA or a BHA toner. So I don't know if it's gonna help with my acne. Also, I don't know if it's moisturizing enough to help, you know, with my dry skin. So really, I'm just curious to see what the effects on my skin are gonna be. But anyways, only time Will tell. Hi guys, so it's day two, but before I use this toner, I first want to read to you all the ingredient list so we could better understand if this toner is any good, what can we expect from this toner. So let's read. So the first ingredient I see is water. Okay, yeah, understandably. I then see sorbitol. Now sorbitol is actually a humectant, so it's supposed to act a bit like a hyaluronic acid. So what it's going to do is actually draw the moisture in the air into your skin. So it's actually quite cute. We like that. I then see, ooh, witch hazel. Now you guys, this is quite controversial. This is why I'm having this reaction because in small amounts, witch hazel is actually very good for reducing the acne and also reducing oiliness in your skin because it is an astringent. Therefore, it's going to draw out the moisture from your skin. However, in bigger amounts, and mind you, this is actually the third ingredient on the list, in big amounts like this, it could actually be irritating and very drying for your skin. So really, I'm now just very confused of how this toner is supposed to be for sensitive skin and like not sensitizing. Simple. I want to I wanna know that. Okay. I really want to know that. The next ingredient that I see is chamomile. Okay, so it's slowly redeeming itself. Chamomile is actually very nice and soothing. I mean, we take chamomile to sleep because it calms down. And so it actually calms down the skin or reduces any redness. And it actually is very good for rosacea and eczema. I then lastly see disodium lauryl sulfosucosinase. Now, I have to be honest, I didn't know what this was, so I had to look it up. But basically, just like sodium lauryl sulfate, which I always tell you about, this is actually quite a very nice and calming detergent. So, you know, apart from the witch hazel, this is actually quite a nice formula. So this is what my skin looks like on day two. There's not much difference from day one, but I mean, it is still very early in this experiment. So we definitely have to see how to test it out. Hi guys, so it's day four. And now this is what my skin looks like. As you can see, I do have a little bit of a breakout going on. Like, I don't know what's happening, but I'm not quite sure if it is caused by this toner, just because sometimes I do be getting breakouts out of the blue, just because my skin likes to keep me humble and grounded. But as you can see, I am using it constantly and consistently. But anyways, you guys, I wanted to remind you a little bit when you should tone because there's a specific order in skincare. So you should tone after cleansing, but before your serums, your essences, and your moisturizers, so everything else. Anyways, guys, this is day four. Definitely keep on watching to see how this breakout develops and if it is actually the toner that is making me break out. Okay, you guys, it's day six. As you can see, the breakout is gone, so there's no need to alarm, no need to ring, no alarms. However, you guys, I definitely have some opinions about this. Here we go, applying it once again. I'm not quite sure if I like this, just because thinking about it, it's quite boring. I'm not gonna say everything right now. This is why you definitely need to keep on watching as to why I feel like this toner is boring and maybe it's not worth buying. However, I feel like if you have sensitive skin, this might actually be very nice. So definitely keep on watching, girl. Okay, you guys, my final thoughts and results with this toner, get ready. I really thought I was gonna love this toner so much. And at first I actually did. I was so pumped about 
about it. The relationship was going really well. We were passionate. There was a lot of sparkle and just attraction between us two. But then like our relationships, things start to fade. We start to see the things that we don't like about this. We start to notice behaviors that we don't like about the other person. And that's where we are at now. I don't know what the fuck she's saying, but girl, I am living. Simple, I am so sorry, sweetie, but I don't like you as much as a toner. I will get into why I think it's boring a little bit more in the video, but first, I wanna say the things that I really like about this because nevertheless, this is definitely a very good toner if we look at it in an objective and general perspective. So simple, the first thing I wanna say is as always, you got it nailed down on the formula because the formula of this is actually quite nice apart from one ingredient, which I'll get to in later. The first that actually blew my mind is that this is 100% alcohol free. Do you know how hard it is to find a toner in the drugstore that is actually alcohol free? No, I don't think you do. You look at all the toners from Nivea's, the Garnier's, or whatever you're looking at, they all have alcohol either at their first ingredient or second ingredient. So I'm like, what? Another thing that you know is coming your way is that this is also fragrance free. If you watch my videos, you know I have stand so much and I'm so passionate for fragrance free products because truly fragrance does nothing for your skin apart irritated I've already said it so simple props to you for that as well the formula in general does have very moisturizing ingredients most of them are also very just gentle and soothing for your skin hence this is why it's targeted for sensitive skin apart from one product to which I'll get now and I think you already know what it is and that is witch hazel simple I really don't know as to why you thought to put witch hazel in this what was the thought process behind this I just really want to know I want to know Know that. Okay. I really want to know that. If this is for sensitive skin, how is witch hazel gonna help with that? When do you, when does, wh when do you, a lot of people in the first place are allergic to witch hazel and nuts in general. On top of that, it is an astringent, therefore it is gonna dry out your skin. Personally, to me, it didn't dry out my skin just because y'all know I am known to be the sebum queen. I just know that for dry skin people, witch hazel could actually be a problem. But anyways, enough with the general chit chat. Now I want to tell you guys why I think personally, subjectively, and this is only my opinion, and so I'm entitled to that, and don't come for me. <laughs> Keep in mind that you might actually enjoy this a lot if you decide to try this out. But for me personally, I think that this is quite boring. And just because it doesn't have any active ingredients, when I look at this, it's just like dry, just like a normal toner. It's basically like a moisturizing water at this point, I want to say. And for me specifically, when I'm thinking of a toner, I'm thinking of something with an active ingredient that is going to help me. I personally really like AHA or BHA based toners just because those are going to be like gently exfoliating my skin. Why would would I gravitate towards this that all it does is really just hydrate my skin. I already have a moisturizer that does that. And keep in mind this also does relate to dry skin people because if you have dry skin what you want to do is use a moisturizer. Maybe also hyaluronic acid that could be also very nice to hydrate your skin. And so really even if you use this this is not going to provide you that much of a moisture compared to your moisturizer and hyaluronic acid. You might as well just go ahead and buy a toner that has a little bit more active ingredients like an AHA or a BHA which is actually actually gonna exfoliate your skin and actually make it a lot more brighter, reduce the flakiness and dry patches on your skin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's a lot better, I feel. And actually now I do see one occasion as to where this could actually come in handy and use. If your skin is a little bit irritated and then you definitely do not want to apply like an AHA or a BHA toner, you definitely want to go for like more gentle, soothing products, ingredients, and you would want to go in with this. But then again, this contains witch hazel, so it's really just, I'm, I'm just really confused here. Simple. What are you doing? You're confused me out I'm running around in loops like what am I a dog chasing my tail yes Oh, another thing that is really important in my opinion that I have to mention, I have to give props for Simple because Simple, I see you. You're doing something good in this world. And that is, this is 100% recyclable plastic. Right here in this economy, in this day and age, in the decade that is 2020, we really have to be conscious about the environment and keeping things recyclable. And so brands like Simple that are making a difference, I just really have to applaud you, Simple. I'm gonna look past to the fact that this toner is a little bit boring, 
just for the fact that this is recyclable plastic on top of that it is also cruelty free and vegan you're really doing it what do you want me to do like i can't bash you you're doing god's work right here all brands should take notes they should actually come to your lectures they should sit down first row and actually jot down every single thing every single word that you saying at your talk because simple you are doing the damn thing with this recyclable thing anyways now the question that we've all been waiting for and the moment of truth has come and that is the question Mateo are you gonna use this toner after this experiment is over in your skincare routine could you please montage a little bit of like a dramatic waiting music and like a suspense <sighs> The answer is no, you guys, I won't. And I think you have seen this coming just because I called this boring. I don't know what the use for this is. So I'm actually just drop it down and goodbye. That's, it's just, thank you next. Thank you next. Thank you next. I'm so effing grateful for my AHA and BHA donor. <laughs> but anyways, randoms, if you watch this far, then I might actually kindly ask you to subscribe and turn the bell icon on if you want to see more of this face and, you know, just learn more about skincare, what your skin might want, needs, and didn't know it needed. And it definitely does not need this until I tell you what it truly needs. Let's be real. If you watch this far, that probably means you enjoyed this video. And as a matter of fact, I know this is probably not even the first video you watch of mine, so you might as well just subscribe. And now, randoms, for all my regular subscribers watching, it is now time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this simple toner, and actually because this word is linked to something that is on this bottle, can you see that this actually, I don't know if you can tell, focus, fo focus on the bottle, not me. I know I'm really pretty, but focus on the bottle right now. You won't be able to tell. This is a really cute, like, bunny. And so linking to this, the Italian word of the video is going to be, wait, how do you say bunny in it? Curillo, which is bunny in English. But ma'am, hello, I'ma urge you to stop right here. I know what you're doing. You're about to click off this video, click this button right here, and go to watch somebody else's YouTube channels, and I'm gonna have to kindly stop you right there. What you should do for clear skin, for glowy skin, for youth, is actually watch one other of these two videos. It is proven that if you watch at least two videos a day of mine, you will have glowy skin and eternal life forever. So, do you wanna play the odds? I don't think you should. You definitely should not. But oh, randoms, remember to be random. Random and always be random.